How can you make your spring decor buzz with style? Rustic bee decor will add character to your space. Hi, I'm Robin, and for my first DIY, I'm creating my own honeycomb wall art. I went to the Steve Good website and I got this pattern of a honeycomb. Then, using carbon paper, I traced it onto this MDF board and I used jute rope that I got from Dollarama and hot glue to glue down all the sides of each hexagon. So what I did was I started on one end and I worked my way around only doing the outer walls of the honeycomb. Then, when I got back around to the side where I started, I started working on the inside ones. And it's a very easy craft to do. All you have to do is put down glue, then put down your rope. Now, they did come out a little circular instead of hexagon so if you really want it to look more hexagon you will need to bend your twine a bit better and make it look more like a hexagon but I was happy with the circles then I had this ribbon that I had gotten that I thought was so beautiful and on one side were polka dots and on the other side was this shiny gold material that I thought looked a lot like honey. So I cut off strips of it and using hot glue placed several pieces just inside the little honeycomb circles. Now at first I thought about doing one whole diagonal row of just this gold material and then maybe possibly using the polka dotted side for another row but I really liked how it was coming along so I kept with the gold until I was completed after that I took my scroll saw and I cut out the whole piece And here's what it looks like so far. I had a little bit of MDF board left from where I had cut out. And I went online and got a free clip art picture of a bee. I traced it out and then I cut it with my scroll saw. Now it's time to paint. You can choose any color of your choice, but I went with the traditional black and yellow. I painted all of the body and the legs and antenna black. And then I painted two stripes in bright yellow on the body. And I painted the wings a metallic silver with black outline. This project is easy and affordable, and it adds a unique and eye-catching element to any room. For my next DIY, I'm using clothespins to make a cute decorative box. First, I separated the clothespin pieces and put the little spring aside. Then, using hot glue, I added two clothespins together lengthwise, and then I added three, just like this. Once I had those down, I added even more clothespins in between. I made two little sections like this. I needed to join them in the middle, so I angled them with the ends pointed together 
And then I decided to put another clothespin at the very end using more hot glue just to give it a corner. And here's how it looks so far. Once I did that, I made another two sections and I added them on the same way using one more clothespin at each end for two more corners. This was pretty easy to do. And not only that, but it gives the box a unique texture and shape because the clothespins have a wavy design. I decided to put a bottom on the box and there was a little gap, so I stuck two clothespins in the middle. Just to cover that hole. Next, I went online and I found this pretty bee pattern that I printed on my printer onto a napkin. And if you wanna see how I did that, I'll link it in the description box below. Next, I used Elmer's glue and a tumbling tower block to just spread the glue all over the napkin because I didn't want any streaks. And then I placed the napkin on the box and just rubbed it down. And I decided to put some Waverly wax on top to give it more of a rustic look. Now I did use quite a lot of Waverly on this and maybe a little bit too much because it covered most of the pattern, but I really liked how it looked on the sides. So I kept going with it on the sides and I did all four. It's so pretty, don't you think? Once that was done, I had these paint brushes that were no good because I let them get hard. And so I took my scroll saw and I cut out some little pieces. So I had quite a few. And then just using hot glue, I made some little flowers. I had this pearl rope that I used in a previous DIY and I decided to cut out a few and put them in the middle. Then I just added them onto my box. This decorative box is perfect for storing small items like jewelry or trinkets. It makes a great accent piece for anyone who loves bees. For my next DIY, I got this beehive pattern off the web. I cut out two patterns. The first one had slits in it, and the other one was the backer. Then I took this brilliant yellow deco art paint. I painted the whole back, even though you could only see in between where the doorway was but it was a little bit bigger, so I wanted to make sure that the whole thing was covered in yellow. Then I added yellow to the front. I took Waverly Wax and I added some on just to make it look more rustic and also for the slits to show up. I received these resin flat back cabochon bees and flower shape mixed pendant charms from BB Craft. And you can get some free stuff from BB Craft too. All you have to do is join their YouTube program. You can get free products by doing videos for them. You'll get the chance if you have more than a hundred subscribers. If you're interested, Check out the link in the description box below. Also, I have a coupon code. 
you can use the coupon ROBIN10. When you shop on BBCraft website, you can save 10% for your whole order. Using some stencils that I got in a Michaels grab bag haul, I decided to make the words, show me the honey. I thought it was a really cute saying and perfect for my bee decor. But I wasn't liking how it was turning out. So I decided to paint the whole thing white. And I was really liking the white on the yellow. And here's how it looks and I thought it looked a lot better. Then I found a pattern that said show me the honey. And I added Elmer's glue to the back. And then I placed it on top of my beehive. And I was really liking it. I thought it looked so cute. I decided that I really liked the slits in the original beehive cutout. So using Waverly Whack, I drew in some lines for the grooves of the hive. This easy DIY hive decoration will add a pop of color to your indoor setting. See how easy it is to incorporate bee themed accents and make your home feel warm and welcoming. Rustic bee decor will add character to your space and make your spring decor buzz with style. I hope these bee themed ideas inspire you to bring some bee cheer to your home. You'll love the sweet touch of spring that they add to your space. To learn how I made this beautiful wreath, click on the next video.